everyone, it's your girl, Abiola Apparel. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning how to draft a peplum top with bust that techniques. And trust me, it's very easy and well deepened. So I have with me here my pattern paper, my curve, my ruler, my marker, and my tape roll. So let's get down to business. The first thing is to determine our scale block. And uh, how do we do that? You divide the widest part of your measurement into two plus one inch. The widest part of my measurement here is my bust. So my bust is 38. 38 divided by two gives me 19 plus one inch. Gives me 20 inches. And you connect down with your ruler. So after which you divide the scale block into two so as to get the front and the back block. Yes, because we are drafting both the front and the back together. Can you see? Then you connect with a straight ruler. So this place will be my front and this will be my back. So now let's impute our vertical measurements. My chest line is half inches, it's nine inches, sorry. Nine inches. Then my bust point, that's shoulder to nipple, is 11 inches. Then my half length, my front half length is 17 inches. Then for the back, my chest line is, uh, is 9 inches and my back waist is um, 15 inches. Let me just repeat it here so as to get a straight line. My chest line, my shoulder to nipple and my front half legs. That's my shoulder to waist. Yes. Let me lay more emphasis on the front waist line and the back waist line. That, that means that is my front half length and my back half length. My front half length is on um, 15, while my back half length is 15. Can you see? Difference of 2 inches. If we measure, if you measure your, your shoulder for the front, shoulder to half length, our front half length for the front is always longer than the back. Why? Because of our bust. Yes, because of our bust. So my own is two inches. My own difference is two inches. So the next thing is to input our shoulder measurements. Shoulder I'm working with is 16. That gives me eight. Let me just repeat the same thing here on the chest line so as to get a straight line. Then you connect with your straight ruler. Can you see? Then the front shoulder slope is always longer than the back. The front shoulder slope is 1.5, while the back shoulder slope is a 1 inch. So for the back, you divide from the shoulder slope to the chest line, whatsoever you have, you divide it into two. Then the mid point for the back is half inch. Just follow this tutorial, you will understand. Can you see? Then for the front, just come in, go in from the chest line, go in by three inches. Then the front mid point is 0 0.75. Can you see? And you connect from that midpoint to the shoulder slope. Can you see how easy it is? Then let's input our bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 30. 30 divided by 4 gives me 9.5. Let me just add 0 0.25 for ease. Yes, then for the front, the same thing. 
9.5 let me just add 0 0.254 is then are the waistline here yeah. the waist i'm working with is 32 32 divided by 4 gives me 8 then one inch for that can you see then the same thing here that's nine inches now we'll connect Sorry, 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 guys. This is our connection here. Yeah. Sorry, please ignore this. This is our connection here. Yeah. Now, let's draw our arm O. I have with me here my curve to get the arm O. This curve will give, will give you a perfect arm O. Can you see how perfect it is then? Place it at the back to, to get your back arm O. Wow, so beautiful. Now, what else? Let's imprint our dots. The boss pan I'm working with is a four inches. That's a nipple to nipple is eight divided by two. You give me four. Then the back for the back dots, you start from the chest line. This is the back. Remember, this is the back. I chose this side to be my back. Then remember, I added one inch. So the dart leg is half half inch. Then you connect. Very easy. That's so then now for the front, the same thing, four inches. But if that's the starting point for the front, this is my bust point, my shoulder to nipple is my bust point. So you just go come down by one inch. Don't, you don't want your dart to start on the boss point so that you don't have a pointed edge there. So, can you see? Just come down by one inch from your bust point and connect. Then remember, the dart allowance we added was just one inch. So, half, half inch there. Can you see? Yes. Now, the back, we don't want to wear this um, peplum top and have like a puff or bulge at the back, no. So, at the waistline here, just come in by half inch. Now, our last tutorial, we did one inch. That was, I know I told us we have um, two types of back tightening. We have the full and the half. So, the, the last tutorial, we did one that's full. So, this one, we are doing half. These are... Um, half uh, half back tightening so we're going by half inch then this half inch then you know from here four inches this four inches is our midpoint from this shoulder slope to the chest line the midpoint is four inches so from here just come on by that four inches just follow the tutorial step by step you will understand then connect to this half inch you came in here so that's all but mind you Whatsoever you take, you have to add it back. You know, we came in by one uh, half inch. If you do not add it back, we'll be short of measurement. Let's confirm. From here now, you know, remember our half length was eight inches. Eight plus one inch. That so now you can see from here, from this half inch, now I'm having eight point five. I'm short, and I should have nine. Eight plus one inch, so I should have nine. Can you say eight point five? So I have to add back this half inch. You had it back. Then you do your connection again. Can you see how beautiful it is? Very simple. Now, let's go to the neckline. The neckline, the neck width and the neck depth depends on what you want on preference. But let me just do, for me, I will just do four. Then, I want to make this peplum a v-neck. You can do any kind of neckline you want. You can do a scoop neckline, sudan neckline, any kind of neckline. I just want to do V. Can you see? Then a straight ruler. Then connect from the shoulder slope to the neck width. It's very simple. Very, very. This is four inches. Then the same thing for the back. The back neck 
width and the front neck width must be the same thing. Then come in with your curl and connect. Yes. It is very, very simple. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. Now, the next thing to do is remember our front waistline. Our front half length is longer than the back half length. Can you see? This one is 17, this one is 15, it's longer. So, and there's no way we can sew like this. No, no. It has to align. So, how do we make it to align? No, we are short of the difference for my own front and back. We half length is two inches. So, these two inches, we have to, that's where our bust, that thickness comes in. We have to make it align here. So, how do we go about that? On the nipple, on the bust point, can you see where these are that start from? No, this is my bust point. So going from the bust point, from this bust point now, you go down the two inches. That's the difference. It depends on individual. There are some that are different. That bust that difference is like one inch, one point five, three inches. So you come down by your own difference. My own is two inches. So that's why I'm coming down by two inches. Then, so that two inches will connect straight. To the bust point here, can you see? And wow, so beautiful, easy, and that's all we are true. Now, let's just include our zipper allowance. You can do this while transferring to fabric, and uh, you can do it now. But me, I just love doing it on the pattern straight. So, one inch, you will start from this half inch that we went in with. So, one inch. Your zipper allowance can be two inches, one and a half, but the zipper allowance for quite not loud. Me, I just love using one inch. So you can see that the zipper allowance is um, slanted. Can you see? It's not straight because our back is not straight. Can you see? Can you see how slanted it is? So that's all. Now we we'll just cut out. Let's cut out. Just need to cut out. So first, let's um, separate the front from the back. And while cutting out your pattern, guys, please relax. Then we cut out the neckline. Remember, the front neckline is V. Depends on what you want to do. Then we cut out the shoulder slants, the arm hole. By cutting out, just relax so that you don't destroy your patterns. So now, let me cut it out first before. We talk about the the that. Now for the that, before you close a that, you have to open one that. So we need to open these ways that for us to. the bus that can you see so I want to fold in my bus that now can you see it's so easy for us why because we've cut out the waist that can you see so you can just come in with your tape and tape down down that is it then you can see my you can see that this line it has shifted a bit so you just have to blend it by you know by connecting it with this side so that's all let's cut out the side Then I have 
a guideline here at the center front you have to cut that one out or else it will add to your measurements so just a guideline for me here. i just went in by half inch before it should be cut on fold please guys cut this one on fold cut it on fold then at the m line add half inch why Remember, it's a peplum top. We are still going to add our peplum to it. So, this half inch is for joining. Then, by the side there, yeah, you can add your sewing allowance. But, you can make it two inches, one and a half. But, me, I do 1.5. Can you see? That's the front bodies. Now, the back bodies. The zipper allowance cutting house. So you just cut through the paper, and then the waistline. Then cut out the neckline. Shoulder slants, the arm over, now let's cut the side. Forget to label your pattern. These are back bodies. Then, like you did for the front, repeat the same thing for the back. For the shoulder, add 0 0.5 neckline. Then the zipper, please. You are not adding anything. You added the zipper allowance of one inch. Then add it down part, add half inch. Remember, we are still going to join to the peplum. Then by the side, we added 1.5. So. We are adding 1.5, the hand moves 0.5. Now I want to show you these are front bodies. So this is the front. Then please, I'm cutting two pieces for the back. Then let me now show you our boss that technique. Can you see? Can you see the front and the back at the side? It's now what? It's now the same thing. That's because we introduced the bust that technique. Can you see how easy it is? Then for the bag, if you want to cut out the dart, you can cut out and you can sew it together. It depends on what you want, but I just I'll just leave it like this. Then the front, while you are transferring to fabric, please add is it that if you are using half inch to join, add half inch to join. If you are using 0.25, add 0 0.25 because you are going to join it and it should be like this after joining. Now these are our front and back bodies now let's go and cut our peplum before we go to cut the peplum let's just do a little calculation on how to cut the peplum we are cutting a full circle we have different types of circle we have a circle full circle but for this tutorial we are, we are cutting a full circle a full circle 360 degree flip that's what we are cutting so Remember, we are going to be attaching the peplum to the waistline, and the waistline we are working with there is 32 inches. The waistline is 32 inches, and then you know, at the back for the zipper, we added half inch, we added one inch, one inch. You know, we are cutting two pieces of this one, one inch, one inch for this side, then the other one, one inch, that makes it a total of two inches. So, 32 plus 2 give me 34. Then the formula for cutting a 360 degree flare is um, 34. So these are our circumference now, the waist circumference. 34 divided by 3.16. It is standard. 3.16. Sorry, sorry guys. 34 divided by 6.28. Sorry. 6.28. That's the standard. And for half circle, just divide this one to two, you get 3.14. That's for half circle. But we are cutting full circle. Let me just quickly do the, the calculation. 34 
divided by 6.28 will give me 5.4. Let me just approximate it to 5.5. This is our radius. Radius is waist circumference because they are attaching the peplum to the waist. It's divided by 6.28. So and we got 5.5. Now we need the length. This is the radius. Now we need the length of the peplum. Our half bodies for the front was 17 inches. And the full uh, top, the full top I'm working with is a 24. So 24 minus the half bodies we have drafted, minus 17. We have left to 7 inches. 7 inches. But we are not just going to cut out peplum of 7 inches length like that. You know, we are still going to, I'm going to use half inch from the peplum to join this one. Then half inch to turn the lower part. So that, that give me one inch. So seven plus one is eight inches. So now what we are cutting is um, the length plus the radius. That's 5.5. 5.5 .5 divided by uh, plus eight. That give me 13.5. So we we'll understand better when we are folding for the peplum. Okay, guys, for the cutting of the peplum, I went ahead to join two pattern paper together. So now let's fold. The first folding, you will fold your paper into two. Can you see? Fold your paper into two like this. Then fold again. You are folding into four. For full circle, you will fold into four. And uh, remember what we are working with is a 15.5. Our radius plus our length. We calculated it and it was a uh, 13.5 rather it was 13.5 and can you see i have more than enough so i have more than enough here 13.5 let me just try to yeah let me try to manage my paper and get 13.5 instead of um, wasting my paper so what you do is uh, from here 13.5 can just make it 14 inches so can you see? So from the 14 inches, from the 14 inches, just fold it. Yes, try to manage everything. Manage paper, manage fabric. So let me measure. Can you see? Perfect. So now let's go. Remember, we folded into four for full circle. Folded into four. Now our radius was um. 5.5 5.5 from the tip here from this edge here measure your 5.5 still place it measure 5.5 and measure it all around to get the radius of the flare to get the radius of the flare can you see And just make connections. Can you see? Now, from here, remember the length was 8 inches. So, from the tip here is 13.5. So, now, you measure it all around again. 13.5. It's very easy, guys. Very, very easy. Just... Be patient with it. Can you see? Just take it all around. So, you can start. 
start connecting. You can connect with your hand. You can also connect with your cup. Yes, we are true. Very easy. Now let's start cutting. Remember, we are cutting a full circle. Cutting a full circle. Then let's cut the radius. See how beautiful patterns. Yes, these are these. So you just transfer to your fabric. You don't need to add any allowance again because you added you added, you added half a uh, half inch up and half inch down. Then you also cut these on lining. Please, for all your patterns, you cut exactly the same thing. You are cutting on the fabric. You cut the same thing too. On the line as we are true thank you for watching please if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please kindly do so like share and subscribe and also click on the notification bell below so that you'll be notified anytime we upload any video then in our next tutorial we will be sewing these beautiful pieces together with inseam finishing yes inseam finishing is going to be easy and well today Thank you so much. I remain your 